Hello, welcome back to Bard's Tale 3. This is Jay Rodman, and uh, today we're going to continue uh, exploring the initial area of Kinestia. It may be the, for all we know, it could be the entire area, although we did find a passage leading elsewhere. So presumably there are other regions to explore in this dimension. I'm going to try to make an effort to keep this episode to, I don't know, I'm going to shoot for shorter than the usual, is what I'm going to do. But I'm not going to make any promises, especially because I have no idea what's going to happen with editing out fights. <laughs> oh, and as usual, I am on the door that I am not a fan of. Where is the door I am a fan of? Here we go. the south, there's a trap somewhere. Mm. Trap marker. Somewhere. I was expecting there to be a way out to the south here, but there's not. That's fine. So we've been around this little 2x2. Two one converter. I actually kind of think that the converters are probably the enemy that um, possesses my characters, and not the toaster. I think I was confused before. They were both in one fight. It just makes way more sense that a converter would be the one that possesses. But we didn't find out. Still that codger bomb. I'm starting to think, I don't know, I, the one image was like some kind of gas comes out and turns you all into codgers and you start complaining about things. The other one was that like, you know, they would all sp the, they would all spring out of the box. You know, you have been up and all these old mon men jump out at you and start telling you to get off their lawn. I don't know, it's not the funniest thing ever, but I, it just, I, I just really struggle with what, what could it, I mean, obviously, I guess, I guess what it means is it's supposed to make all your characters old. If I think about it, it'll, it sort of makes sense. But, still, it's a very colorful way. More gems. And another shrill flute. They want to make sure that I get that shrill flute. Uh, I don't remember. I already evaluated it. It did something utility-based that I didn't need. Okay, so we finished exploring this corner of the map. So a comment from uh, one of my viewers on... Oh, I really should know names. I just really do not retain usernames. Um, the person who inspired me... The, the friendly German who inspired me to do this project commented that fa these, uh, well, so he commented that being phased is an attack that reduces your um, spell points when you're hit. So you, if you take damage, you take equivalent damage to your spell points as well. So uh, the magic siphons, which I mentioned earlier, I didn't know what they did, um, turn out to just phase on attack, which I think is the same as magic eaters. They also do have reasonably high um, magic resistance, but that's not particularly um, unique. Particularly unique. But very unique. Somewhat unique. It's not particularly unusual for this dungeon. So I got the joy of going back through the anti-magic. And now I guess I'm standing on this spinner, although of course we have a no spin ring and it is not terribly consequential. Uh, let's look to the west. We get that confirms this spinner uh, to the east. I kind of don't know. I'm suspicious there's a spinner here. Uh, we couldn't check from there because our spells were canceled, of course. I'm gonna try going. Oh, and south there's so we're probably in some region that's just like all spinners. Mm. I, 
guess I'm taking the choice of moving here. And what is special about this location is that there's an extended note. Scratched deep in the wall with coppery shards of metal embedded in the stone, you read, Why must those who rise to rival their creators always be considered damned? It's pretty um, deep commentary from the, I assume, new race of robots or newly sentient group of robots. Why do you hate us? I'm going to type that down. One sec. Of course, somehow calling out the, um... The arbitrariness of video game morality... Or maybe this isn't... Maybe this comment extends beyond video game morality, but it is in a video game. So that makes me think it's about video game morality, and... I don't know, we were asked to kill, you know, hundreds if not thousands of random creatures in other dimensions, and <laughs> no, we didn't get ever get a chance to question any of that. I don't know. Anyway, putting that aside, clearly the robots in this dimension are a conflict with the dwarves, but it's not really clear that any of them were sent by Tarjan, or that any of them is truly evil, if they're sort of... Or maybe the dwarves are the evil ones. Maybe they do... But I mean, the dwarves are... Or perhaps the robots are long-standing, and the dwarves have now been corrupted by Tarjan to attack them? Don't know. Well, there's a spinner somewhere to the south. I don't know. To the east, there's nothing. So that's, um... That's some amount of certainty. How far away is the eastern wall? Oh, well, this makes it easy. Mr. Automap, you are so clever. Uh, oh, there's a gap. I was thinking this gap was just there because the Automap doesn't show things that aren't directly in front of you, but you can see this is a wall in front and to the right, not to this side. Or at least that's how I think it is. Okay, so this... This blue zone that I put down earlier... Is not here. It must be here, because it's not here or here. And we could detect it. from outside this room. But, um... From this location, <clears throat> there's also anti-magic to the south. But not here. So, I don't know. I'm gonna put a marker here as a guess. Okay, and from here we can see there's a door, and two more walls. To the north we can see there's a wall around the edge. Oh, well, I was slightly wrong. There's a something around the edge, which happens to be a door, not a wall. Okay, so from here, we can see a spinner west. And looking north, it's not here. And this is the first time we see this special, so these two are not special, because that's the first time we're detecting that, and there's nothing earlier. There's also nothing, no, no spinner to the north there. Oh, and a fight. I accidentally moved up 
this this way. Hmm. Okay. I don't know. Fifteen thousand experience is nothing to complain about. Okay, so from this location, we went back over here. We can see a spinner facing north, which we could not sense here. So, and I guess I already knew that because from here we could see a spinner facing east. We've narrowed this down. So I guess, um, I don't know, we learned more about the northern area of this room, and I'm going to leave this for now and explore in this area. I'm going to actually be very surgical about my removal of this trap. I moved it from here, so if there was a trap behind it, um, I'd find out. Uh, that was a marker. I was just mark kind of, whatever. The, the, the other trap marker was an artifact from wraparound detection. Oh, another passageway. I actually rather expected that. So, um, we have another way out of this region. that door icon? Mr. Door. Bill Door. For Pratchett fans. I don't know. It's not like I made a joke or anything. It's just what I thought of. Um... Two enemies. I'll just record. Keep this one in. Uh, I don't remember who's at fifty feet. Oh, Vin Voltrons. That one's like a little dangerous. It has a uh, group attack of some sort. But if it's willing to advance into my stone blades, then it's really no problem. Or if my rogue is willing to hit something for for a change, like like she did right there, that also makes it no problem. I do wonder though what it means to backstab a robot, because that's my second thieves dart. I should probably be passing some of these thieves darts to my rogue, because I don't know what they do, but presumably. Therefore, used by rogues. The rogue is all full of what? Probably oh, a shrill ja shrill flute, which I can drop. A uh, shorthand amulet, which I'm gonna drop. Harmonic gem, which I'd love to trade to a mage, but probably they don't have room. Do they have crap too. No, not so much. Well, whatever. For the moment, I'm gonna give a thieves dart over. Who, did, who had it? To a rogue who's. I'm gonna try to remember to have her actually use it. So. I just moved out here. I can see that there are three walls past the door, and then an opposing wall. I'm gonna just keep exploring this right edge and deal with this anti-magic later. Oh, there's anti-magic in there too. Well, we're probably actually detecting this on the other side of the map. So. Maybe there's no anti magic over there. Uh, 
I'm now looking inside around inside this area. Which is I'm trying to draw walls, not doors. Not doors. Uh into the south. The room is a little further to the south. Three long. I bet we're gonna have a big long rectangle like that. And it's a fight time by three converters. This is a um Likely time is any for them to show that they have possession ability. Anticipating that possession attack, and the fact that it seems hand-to-hand, -hand, I'm having my bard use the armor class song, which I don't use much these days, since Kiel's Overture, the damage, the, like, 400 damage to all enemies is so sexy. Well, I still didn't find out whether converters are the ones. Oh, 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 I forgot. Um, uh, familiar figurine is, like, useful somehow. I don't remember how. Most of the figurines I ignore. But this one, I think, is, like, equipable. Did that override any other equipment I'm wearing? No. Did it change my armor class? No. Let's try to watch her spell points, which are currently 5'11". Oh, she's got full spell points. Well... Later. Later, we'll check in. Actually, I think I have another one of those. Bring around ballad. No, Kiel's Overture. Uh, hide and f Wither Fist. I gotta spend some spell points so I can watch how they go up again. Uh, Master Wand. She's so she's at four ninety one spell points now. And you would expect her to go up to four ninety two because of the yellow staff she has equipped. But she went to 494. So I'm pretty sure that that f uh, familiar figurine gives us an extra spell point regen, which is pretty big deal. I mean, it's not a complete... It's not like a major game changer, but it's very helpful. The difference from... Zero spell point regen to one spell point regen was a bigger deal, but it definitely made a real difference in terms of my overall spell points available in dungeons. That said, I should probably cast more spells in general, even without such extra spell points. Okay, so... Who else has a figurine? Because I'm pretty sure I have another one of those somewhere. That I probably never remembered to equip. Uh, Hunter's Cloak, which is for dropping because I don't have a hunter. There we go. Equip that. And there's my other thieves dart. 
Uh. Oh right, and there's this blood mesh robe robe that I didn't ever figure out what it did. I wore it for a while and then forgot about it. So we can still see the trap to the south from here and from here. So it's there. So we could also see an anti-magic from this space, which is what I was just f f uh, fishing for, fiddling around with, something like that. Uh, I can also detect anti-magic from here, so it's, I believe, there, because I think we won't be able to detect it from here. Yeah, we will not. Okay, I'm going to finish going south along this wall. And we could detect anti-magic here, not here. Nothing south. To the west, definitely though a spinner. But we couldn't from here. So that means it's one, two, three. Symmetrically unsurprising. see a door? Yeah, we can. In fact, the door is here, and then there's one more wall. One, two. From here we can now detect the spinner, so this is sort of con this much confirmed. And the spinner there too, and the spinner there too, so. All of those spinners have been confirmed. Now we can go north, west, west. Oh, I need one more. To get past the anti-magic. So the some things are not actually in this row, whatever they were. I don't know where they're going to turn out to be. And looking west, it's hard to tell because this hit point drain counts as something. There's probably a difference between something and something special, which I guess I've mentioned before, but I still haven't worked out. Or if I worked it out, I've forgotten again. Spinner to the west. I guess it's probably here then, because I don't think we found it out here. The spinner south too, but we know very little about it because the other spinners will have obscured the location. Probably it's right in front of the door. For symmetry reasons. Okay, going west, this spinner gets out of our view, no big surprise. Uh, this trap that we've been dancing around can go. Okay, what have we got here? Ferrofist's throne room. Stripped of the fine furnishings it once had, seems violated and dead. Broken and long dead combatants fill the room. It is a very grim sight. Long dead, does that mean like weeks or years? Given the other descriptions we've seen, I'm gonna guess this is on the, the realm of days to maybe weeks. 
Like, you could maybe imagine there's been a running battle for quite some time between the uh, dwarves and robots. Anyway, uh, or dwarves and machines, I'm not sure what to call them. I'm typing this up. Okay, so I'm not going to get much detecting done from this message square. But I did find out we're in the throne room. What did I come over here for? I came over here to get a very clear idea uh, where whether the spinner is where I think it is. And yes. I didn't figure this out before. I guess it wasn't the top of my priority list. Okay, and these some things. Well, this something is not there. And this something I think is some kind of error. Probably detecting this something. Okay, so I came down here and detected nothing east. And then nothing west, so there's actually nothing in this row. Leaving us with a spinner very definitely here. Oop, not, not there. And also a spinner very definitely here. I think the remaining squares in this room are all anti-magic, but we'll find out. North, this one is definitely. And now, well not Bard Song. I'm going to step into each of these six squares. I don't, no, I'm not fighting anyone in an anti-magic square. I think your spells get cancelled even, the ones, not like spells from before, but like spells you're trying to cast at the time during combat, I think get cancelled. It certainly happened in some of the versions of Bard Steel 2. I think not in one. Maybe they hadn't thought of it yet. So I've just wandered around through this space. Um, it's time to head south out of this room into this silence. I'm, I was curious how far east-west the silence extends. Um, well, it's here somewhere, but on, on this side we get a spell's wavering zone. And what we see is on the right, one, two, three, four. That's basically what we see. If we turn to the east, we can see a wall on the south, and then a door, and then two walls. And to the west, hmm, that is a, those are, those walls came up sooner than I thought. I thought there might be like some long hallway here. Anyway, um, yep, verified this little swatch of silence. 
uh, this anti-magic zone may well be here because we can detect it on this row, this east-west area. Uh, I don't know, east-west position. Um, I guess I want to go south and figure out whether that's um, another passageway first. I'm betting it is. Yes. It is. any idea where this trap is to the west. Well, I guess I do know it's not in this location. Because I already stepped there. Or I think I did. Maybe I didn't. I guess I should map the hallway in front of me. Still a trap in front of me. I'm gonna just... And a trap to the south. I'm gonna go in anyway. Okay. Oh. I thought I knew where the trap was because I didn't get a message. But I guess I know where the trap is because I did get a message. Pretty sure it's there. in that fight. Didn't look like a lot of experience. Huh. I wonder why I decided there was a trap here. Um, this feels like I detected the same thing in two different locations, which makes me think I was mismapping one of those two times. So I'm checking where I am right now. And sure enough, I feel like I've made an error because we're at 8 east. So let's make sure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, so we're actually correct. But this 10 is in the wrong place? 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah, the 10's in the wrong place. That's just kind of dumb of me to have miscounted earlier. It's in the right place up there. That's amusing. Okay, still don't know why there's no trap here. It's possible I actually trap sapped it, but I think it was probably an error or a guess. Though that trap is not very important because, you know, there's no reason for me to ever come back into this room. Now, from here I could detect a trap, I think. I step forward two, so there must be one directly in front of me. Oh, and of course, this was a misguess for this trap earlier. Okay, so from here, I can detect this anti-magic, so now we have very strong confirmation that it's right there.
How are we doing for mapping? We're getting close to being done with this particular area. So I guess this is the la the last room on this leg, probably. Oh, well, I spoke too soon. It is some sort of subdivided space. I was just thinking as I was killing that swath of enemies that at this point I basically have four Shade Lance. That looks interesting. I basically have four Spellcasters. Um, Chantrell can use uh, Kills Overture and do a you know basic spell blast, as can the rest of my three casters. And later, well, we'll see what'll happen later. But it's just becoming an increasingly magic-heavy party as we go on. Um, let's use one of those magic gems that I've been hoarding. And I'm looking for... Okay, so this Shade Lance, I think... Oh, I forget. Um, so I can cast a spell with it. I'm going to try it um, in our next fight. I'm pretty sure it's something good. Okay, now we need to go over... Our last little area to explore is in this corner, so let's head over there. And... Oh, I should check whether I can phase door here. Because that's a lot cheaper than recasting all my spells. So two walls beyond that door. There's another one at the end. Another wall. I'm going to just go on through this door. This is like dimension of two by two rooms. I'm pretty sure I already have a minstrel's glove. Let's check. I think that was the last item that boosted Chantrell to have, again, the best armor class in the party. Yeah, minstrel's glove. Got it. So, Griselda can drop it. One nice thing about this game system is, so long as you have some mages with spell points, it's fairly easy to bring people back to life at the end of combat, so they are sure to get their experience points. I was just watching someone play through Final Fantasy IX, and they kept mismanaging their hit points and having someone die right at the end of a fight. 
and by making that mistake several times, the same character kept falling further and farther behind. It was, it was a sad thing. But in Bardstale, all we have to do is have people resurrect them in the last round of combat. And even if the last month if the last monster dies before they get their spell off, they will still resurrect them. And another shade lens. Maybe there are things that can be thrown. I forgot to use mine last combat. Probably because mostly what I'm thinking about when the combat starts is shut up and get ready to edit this out. And here I'm just updating the map with all the stuff I've already just done. And now we have our last passageway out. Last? Is that the last? I don't know. Let's, um... Briefly look. Are there any passageways we have not gone down at the edges of the map? Nope. We've gone everywhere. So we have ways out to the north, two to the east, and one to the south. And uh, next session, we're going to try some of them. But for today, that's enough mapping for now. See you next time when we figure out what's behind one of these passageways. Bye.